Hello, in this video I'm gonna show how to define course uh, policy in uh, ASP.NET Core applications. It will work in MVC, or actually in MVC maybe we don't need it, but uh, basically in REST API applications. Alright, uh, in the program file I have put a dependency injection uh, for database context also but but here you can see the course so so these these are not not in the beginning if you make a project this is I have added this for for the database connection, uh, but the course thing is here. It's gonna go like this. So this is the name for the course policy, and this policy will allow any origin and allow any method and any header. Uh, this is quite common because we cannot <laughs> restrict by IP addresses because uh, we don't know we don't know where the re requests are coming because uh, front-end applications they are running in in a client browser and it can be anything to IP address. Of course, if this would be some kind of service that is used by certain other uh, services with static IP address, then we could, we could, of course, make it. Okay, but here is the definition. And then also we need here, like this, up dot use course and parameter string that needs to be the same same name like this and if you are having problems with uh, with connecting your your app then this this can be one one reason if you don't define the course and I will run this and I will show another thing. If you are using Swagger, and you you are having problems connecting your uh, front end to back end, then I want to show you one thing. I'm making the request. This is the Northwind. Uh, demo database but here if you make the request like this like I made here you can see the actual path this is the path you need to use because this port number it can change from uh, I have I can have different than you but you see from your own application Swagger what it's gonna be. I think it's also in the project launch settings JSON here. But then you need to have this API prefix, for example, in my controller. There's API and the controller name. Thank you. I hope this could help you with, with the course basics.